Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as promised, I am doing a review and flip through on Apologia's Math Level 2. I'm so excited to dive into this this year. Uh, it has been so challenging to try to find a math curriculum that just works for us, that sticks, that's something that I enjoy teaching and my kids enjoy learning and I think that this is gonna be an amazing one. I cannot wait to, to use it this year. I'm going to go ahead and turn around the camera Give you guys a look inside and show you what this curriculum is about all right you guys this is apologia math level two now uh, this is the student book so when you open it you get the acknowledgments page and then you go into the table of contents it'll have all of the topics that your child is going to be covering and what um, number of pages that the lessons correspond to the next section is an introduction to the curriculum and it'll go over what the book icons mean and then on the next page there is a password where you can access some of the book extras that they have on their website so if your child needs more practice you can go and get some extra sheets to download there. And then it goes into the um, unit introduction and it ties in God and science into that. And then after that, you jump right into the first chapter. So at the time of filming, this curriculum is $60.75 for both the parent teacher's guide as well as the student book. Now, if you're only wanting the student book, you can get that for $43.50 or the teacher's guide is $17.25. And this is on their website. I will have it linked down below in the description bar in case you are interested in checking it out and want to purchase it for your homeschool. Now this uh, is a short hands-on math curriculum with a biblical worldview. This curriculum in particular lasts about 28 weeks and is comprised of 105 lessons and 6 projects. This is designed to be done about 4 days a week. And at the beginning of each lesson, you will find the needed supplies that you'll need for that day. You'll also find a complete supply list for the entire year in the teacher's guide. And once you have your supplies for the day, you will jump into a fun activity or game, and then your child will complete the lesson. Now, as far as supplies needed, most will be common household items. However, there are a few things that you'll need to purchase such as linking cubes, base 10 blocks, a set of 3D shapes and pattern blocks, and the occasional food item. There are some activities that incorporate food, so just be prepared for that. Um, so that way you can, you know, have those on hand when the time comes for that lesson. Now, the concepts covered in this curriculum are broken up over six units and include place values, two-digit addition and subtraction, money and time, three-digit addition and subtraction, measurement and data, and then finally geometry. So think shapes, angles, symmetry, equal parts, that kind of thing. Now, like I mentioned previously, um, at the beginning of each lesson, there's a seeing God through math portion. And I really like that because it covers what your child is going to learn in the upcoming chapters, but also how God plays a role in math and in everyday life. Now, at the start of each day, you are supposed to spend about five to 10 minutes doing a skills practice with your child. Um, at the very beginning of this curriculum, the skills practice will cover math skills that your child should have mastered in first grade to help with whatever they might need a refresher on after coming back from a summer break. Now, unlike some of the uh, higher levels of Apologia's Math, there are not any tests in this grade level. But like I mentioned, you can go to their website for the book extra. So if you feel like your child needs a little extra practice or you want to do some review, you can get those sheets there. Now in the teacher's guide, you're going to find a suggested schedule, an answer key, what skills practice to use for each unit, and uh, the activity sheets as well as the full supply list. And 
And that is all of the information that I have for you on this curriculum. I'll go ahead and finish the flip through and then um, I'll slow down a bit and give you guys an actual walkthrough of what a lesson looks like and show you a sneak peek inside the teacher's guide. So let's give you guys a look inside the teacher's guide. So when you open it up, you get your table of contents and then you get a week by week schedule. And like I mentioned, it's only four days a week. So this is really nice if you have a co-op or you want to do a fun Friday or you just want to make, you know, one of the days of the week, a day to run errands, do doctor's appointments and things like that. It does work in not only your lessons, but also the projects. And then it'll have a teaching guide introduction, give you some information on the curriculum and the ways to use it. It'll give you the daily skills practice overview. Um, this is the five to 10 minutes before the lesson that I was mentioning. And then it gives you teacher notes with the supply list for the first two chapters. And then this is the skills practice for the first unit. Your child is gonna make sure that they um, have these addition and subtraction facts mastered throughout the first unit and then here is what the answer key looks like so um, it'll give you a picture of the page and the answers will be written in blue now as you flip towards the back of the book that is where you will find all of the activity pages for the lessons that you are going to need them for and then if you go all the way to the back you will get the supply list for the entire year. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what a lesson looks like at the beginning of the book and then what one looks like at the end of the book just so you can get an idea of how your child is gonna progress throughout the year. So in the first couple of lessons, you're gonna be working with place values and you're gonna do that with your base 10 blocks. So the first one gives you an example of what to do and then um, your child will go and complete the place values and this is where they're gonna need their manipulatives. So it's a good idea to have that on hand before you even start school. And so um, they will figure out the place values for tens and ones and then write the number together. And then they will also have a challenge where they make the first letter of their name with the base 10 blocks. And then they'll write how many blocks it took to make that letter. Okay, uh, this is one of the lessons towards the end of the book. And so in this section, they're gonna be working all on geometry, equal parts, symmetry, things like that. And so this lesson, they're going to be working with equal parts. So it says when you cut a shape into two equal parts, those parts are called halves. And then when you cut it into three equal parts, it's called a third. And then four equal parts is a fourth. And so they're going to be um, doing a little mirror image. So they're gonna need these items. And it says, have your parent draw a line down the middle of your piece of paper. Use your paper block to make a design that is symmetrical. Keep the line in the middle of the design and make sure both sides match. And then on the next page, they will be practicing doing this themselves. So it says, use your ruler to draw a line that divides each of these shapes in half. Uh, use your ruler to draw a line to divide these shapes into fourths and then uh, circle each shape that has equal parts then color the shape red if it is divided into thirds and green if it is divided into fourths and then as far as a project goes uh, their final project will be a pizza party which i think is a really fun idea for kids this age and so it says, in this project, you will be celebrating all you learned in the past year with a pizza party. Making and dividing the pizza 
will also give you a chance to practice what you learned about shapes and equal parts. So the first step is they're going to preheat the oven. Then they will be dividing the dough uh, between three equal parts. And then they'll just basically continue making it and following the directions. And then divide the first pizza into halves, the second pizza into thirds, and then the third pizza into fourths. So I, I think that that's going to be really fun. It'll give them a visual on dividing these things. And, you know, kids love pizza, so <laughs> I think it's a really fun idea. And then you get your congratulations. You've completed this course, and they can take a fun picture. So that is it. I'm going to turn around the camera now. All right, you guys, so that is the end of the flip through. I hope that you enjoyed seeing inside. If you found this review helpful at all, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear what you thought of this curriculum. If you've used this curriculum and you liked it or you didn't like it, let us know that below as well, just to help people who might be uh, still trying to pinpoint what math they want to use for their second grader this year. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing Apologia Math, uh, like I mentioned, this will be linked down below in the description bar. If you happen to use my link, it just provides a small commission for me, but it does not change your price at all. And I so very appreciate it because it helps me to be able to run this channel and purchase curriculum to review for you guys. If you are interested in checking out the review and flip through from Math 6, I will have that coming up this Friday, so make sure that you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post that video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you again later. Bye.